Welcome to Good Mythical More. Thanks for joining us, hanging out. We're gonna be tasting some spiced ice to see what is the best spiced ice. Oh, you like my my sweater vest? I didn't notice that until right now. This makes me the spice principal of. I'm jealous, man. Of Good Mythical More. I'm jealous. Yeah. But yeah. first, let's uh, let's do a freeze frame, and I'll look jealous. That was that was uh, was that enough? In the of a moment, freeze? I kind of realized I didn't know how to make. <laughs> I don't know what I went. I just was like, "What's a jealous?" Is a kind of a th a disposition, not necessarily a face that you can make. Yeah, uh, I, uh, I got like jealous. if you were to, if you were to like asking people to make expressions, you know, like Chappie does for our thumbnails. Chappie's never said what is make a jealous, jealous face. For a reason, it's impossible. It cannot be made. That's what I would do. Also, after we taste a few of these, I want to give you an update on my continued investigation into the true DNA results of my dogs. Is Jade actually miniature Dotson? Well, I went to an independent DNA analysis firm. Of course you did. To get the results, which I will be sharing with you after we taste a few of these ice spices. Wait, so, what do you mean by, like when you say independent, just the implication? One. I, yeah. I, I told, when we get to it, I'll tell you about it. After we've tasted a few of these ice things, it's a okay. teaser, see? You're thoroughly teased, Stevie. Look at yeah. that. You can't even wait. That's something I don't like about that. Go ahead. Uh, so I guess, is this a thing? I know like going to a place and they've got like cucumbers in the water at the spa. That's a thing. This but is not spicing the ice, is it a thing? Or maybe it'll be a thing. We, we, it we're could be inventing a, a this. Bloody uh, Mary situation. So how did, what is this first? Is this one? cayenne? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, how was it made? They probably put cayenne, cayenne in water, water and then freeze it. Yeah. Okay, and then as it melts, I bet you it tastes a little bit like cayenne. Did you ask for a straw? You know, it was just I was given one. It's like, pretty. You jealous? Make your jealous face. It's pretty. <laughs> I see you. Ha you have a you have a straw right over there, as well. Okay. You gotta ask for straws these days. It's a good thing. Cayenne doesn't have a lot of flavor, but it has a lot of spice, and that is what's translating into this water. <laughs> is that it? Just tastes like maybe it's spicy, but it just tastes like water. How long has it been sitting in the? Minutes. A few minutes. A few minutes. I would just say, always ask me first. It just tastes like, <laughs> just tastes like water. Did you say that? So far, most of the things you've asked, I answered and then someone else did. I mean, how was this made? I answered that. I like the way this looks and I like the way it tastes, like water. So, I think I'm gonna like this next one. I, got I mean, my we can eye come back to it. I got my jealous eye but on let's, that one. Let's go on to the next one. Yeah, this is cool. And this is where I'm really thinking about, you know, that Bloody Mary idea you got back there, So Stevie. a frozen jalapeno, can I have a, um, a spoon? It's hard to get um, them, to, it's hard to not get them just to settle to the bottom. As you can see, they've kind of just settled to one side of it. I mean, this is a nice, fun little thing to do. I don't. They either float or sink. Does it impact the taste? Not really. Oh. I just wanted to. What? Yes, this one impacts the taste dramatically. Cayenne doesn't isn't have any taste. Cool but I, I love jalapeno, and I, I think this really, this is it's, really good. It's super, super cool. And there's some seeds down in the bottom. That's super cool. It Thanks for bringing that spoon over. Highly recommend. Let me go to the top, not the bottom. Highly recommend. I'm not kidding. I love oh. a jalapeno taste. You know, yeah, go to the top, not the bottom. It's going to be even stronger. I at started the top. at the top. Yeah, that's the that's the key. Started at the top. Now I'm here. It's even stronger. It it is kind of like a a spa spa type thing. It has it's like got... a cucumber, a spicy cucumber feel. Yeah. 
I like that. Uh, you I know, like when I do this, water. when I do this, it starts to burn in my, in my throat area. When are you gonna tell us about the results, man? I'm really anxious. So Stevie, I went to an independent DNA analysis firm. What, you had a question about yeah, that? Yeah, what's the implication about the place that we used on the show? It's not like owned by like some corporation for chihuahuas. Yeah, no, it's big chihuahua. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just, I was convinced that they were wrong, so I wanted to go somewhere totally different. I paid so someone else. You just like a different is what Second you mean. opinion, you might call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. second opinion. They were totally independent. They're not related to the other one, unless they send it to the same DNA analysis place. Mm-hmm. Which I don't think they did. Um, okay, so what, what? How do you have this? Do you have this one at a time or split screen? Let's see it one at a time. Let's by way of review. Jade is forty percent Chihuahua, seventeen percent Poodle, ten percent, almost eleven percent Rat Terrier. No Dotson. Now let's go with the split. Well, she's sixteen percent Super Mutt, but we didn't see. There's no Dotson in the Super Mutt. In the Super Mutt, right? Okay. So all right, let's split screen this if we can. So if you look over there, um, she went up in Chihuahua. Okay, I think that's all we need to know. She went down She and poodled to 13%. And then Dotson now shows up at 3%. So she is Dotson. Ha! Ha! Well, so, but ha! basically you're saying no, you have no, two results not. and you're she's choosing to believe Dotson. one. We gotta get another test, my friend. <laughs> hey, but here, we gotta get a third test to see what three tests show. You, because you calling Jada Dodson is like me calling Jada Shih Tzu, because it's the three percent. So can I call her a Shih Tzu? No. She's actually. I'm her parent. Th listen, the thing you were most upset about is the fact that she was mostly Chihuahua. Now she's over half Chihuahua. She only yeah. became more Chihuahua. She became more Chihuahua, but I got some Dotson in there, and I feel good about that. I want to acknowledge the no rat terrier, the elephant in the I'm room. I'm glad that that's gone. And apparently, uh, we say uh, Stevie. How do you say the name of the breed of dog that uh, Link wanted Jade to be? Doc Doxon Doxon. Mm. That's how you say it. Doxon. Yeah. Doxon with a. Doc Doxon. Well, that's how. Yeah, that's technically correct, but. Growing up in the South, everyone said Dotson with a T. But and not a D on the Dotson, like I the know car. It's crazy. But, and I, it's I mean, colloquial. So that's... many people have called us. I know that's incorrect. Wait, so we're Dachshund. just we're throwing out the old test and we're accepting the new test? I just mm. want to be clear. I just, no. This is a sidebar. Well, here, let, let's, I'd like to acknowledge the other elephant in the room, which is what, 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 what is this DNA test changing? You know, is, am I the father with one paternity test and not a father with another one? You know? Well, what's the Are deal? Are you a here? dachshund? <laughs> they present this like as if it's the the facts, and then you go to another place and it's different. It's different. I mean, yeah, I would be. There it, was no Shih Tzu in the other one. Everything is based Maybe on, the on everything is based on sample size, right? It's just like twenty three and Me. The, what you see in 23andMe changes over time because the data gets better. So they're not dealing with it from the same database. So each place is, whatever they have determined is Chihuahua at one place is also pretty much what they have determined to be Chihuahua at a different place, but their sample size gives you this inconsistency of 53 and 40. But still, she's mostly, she's still a mm. Chipoodle. A or whatever yeah. that we call it, we call yeah, it. Yeah, she is that. She is that. But there, because there is some Dotson showing up. I feel like, you know, there's miniature in Pincher that's higher now, and that does and explain her marking. I think it explains her markings. The miniature pin Pincher, right? Which was in both of them, nine point eight to eleven percent. But it makes me feel better about having her on my arm. You know, it's like I mean, this is floating around the internet, but uh, I put my I put my Chihuahua, my ch my my Chipoodle on my arm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at her. Look at her. I can pet her anytime I want because oh, I love her. Um, now, if you if we had gotten these results before you decided yeah. to get the tattoo, uh, would you, know, you have still gotten it? by flexing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I love Jade no matter what. Okay. Um, sure. And when when I tell people, oh, what's you know, is that 
that was your dog? Or say, tell me about your tattoo. I'm like, this is my living dog, Jade. That's what I have to say. Because people assume that she's dead. It won't be true forever, though. No, but as long as she's alive, the way that I'm going to say, if anybody wants to talk about this tattoo, is this is my living dog, Jade. Because I don't want people to feel sorry for me. Um, Are you going to get the date of birth and death when when she passes? Uh, no, but I think I I think I re it's so such a focal point that I think I'm. Get the whole body? I'm gonna get the whole body standing up. She's going like this yeah. right here. No, I'm I think I might I gotta go I gotta go up or down. I think I'm gonna go up because like I just need to I need more. I just can't get enough, man. But it's cause it's just kinda like such a look at this dog that I gotta add some more tattoos around there. But you know what? I just felt like um she's my heart dog. I love her. But you're gonna get Jasper tattooed on? I might get. I might. I'm, I'm feeling guilty. What about Sokka? Feeling eh, not that guilty. <laughs> if if Jasper keeps it up, uh, I might. I might have to get him too. Keeps what up? Being such a good friend. There's some. There's something sweet about. I just felt like there's just something about a gesture of love that the the object of that affection will never know about it, like. Oh, to so you, that, when you show it to her, right she over her face, she, she doesn't, doesn't bat an eye. She doesn't acknowledge. She doesn't it. bat an eye. Mm. It's like this. This is an expression of my love for Jade and what she means to me, with zero of like. There's not even an ounce of manipulation in it, mm. you know. And that's always a problem with with gestures of love. It's like, what do you want out of this? Right. Yeah. It's Nothing just, from Jade. It's a transactional. It's not a transactional Nothing relationship. From Jade. Um, so, Link. I don't, I don't I don't want to formalize this, but I I have ordered a a wisdom dog DNA test as well because you better order an independent firm. We have just added a new member to our family, Cassie and I. So that oh, worked no, the, that didn't. worked out. And and I wanted to kind of have a dog and sent off. Ringo is single? Ringo and Stinko. <laughs> no. Uh, no, hot. she does have a funny, funny name though. I'll I'll show you a picture and then we can put a better one um, up in post. But um, her name is Tite. <laughs> Tite. <laughs> ah, Tite. Um, because that's what I used to call tortillas as a toddler, and she's from Mexico and she's uh, tortilla colored. Tite. So I thought that is she it all. A, you think she's a a what? What did they tell I you? I think she was? she's. Oh my gosh. A, a Dutch schmouse hound, <laughs> which it, you point a Dutch schmouse hound out on the streets of Ensenada to me, and um, I will give you money. <laughs> uh, I think so she's, I'm about to come show you this photo because I didn't even give it uh, to be shown. Uh, I think that she might be partially um, Chihuahua. Dachshund. It, definitely partially Chihuahua for sure. Uh, but we're going to, we can have a little. Dachshund off. And you haven't analyzed Ringo either yet, right? No, I have. You I have? I said he was also Chihuahua Poodle. Okay. That's a perfect companion to, to Ringo. They like each other. They love each other. They do? Ah! <laughs> so they were an immediate connection? Yeah. Oh, she it's looks like, like a she's a. Uh, Ringo. <laughs> She seems very sweet. She's doesn't so doesn't sweet. look like an ankle biter like I accidentally got. She's so sweet. Th throw up the split screen for Jasper. Let's just see the difference there. Um, so they go Chihuahua heavy around. Yeah, they parts. go Chihuahua heavy, and so we're going up thirty four percent Chihuahua to fifty one percent, twenty seven percent Poodle Embark. down to twenty four. Embark, and then we, w and then the second one on the right is Wisdom Panel. Wisdom Panel got some uh, dachshund for. Uh, there was a little bit in both. Five, but five percent. He's he, he's more dachshund than mm -hmm. than uh, under Jay. super mutt. So uh, poodle twenty four percent went down. Pekingese went down. Eskimo dog came into uh. this. 
Cocker Spaniel is new to this. We made so many spicy drinks for you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah we Now got, we're gonna try We got more spicy drinks. Let's go right through them. Let's just see what happens. Let's see if we can identify the spice. Is that Tapatio? Ugh. <clears throat> we see, we gave him time to melt more. It's a hot sauce, but not Tapatio. Cholula? No. Uh, uh, Tabasco. No. Um, oh. No, now, now I'm getting a taste of it. Valentina. Ch uh, Sriracha. Frank. Yeah. I just don't like, Sriracha's too garlicky for me. Um, yeah, I, I don't I, like I'm Sriracha. A, I don't like that one. That's not good. Jalapeno is great. This is pretty orange. Tita? Tati? Tite. 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 Which also sounds like something else, which is a plus. Tite. This is has it, a lot of a sugar girl. in it. it. Yeah, she's a girl. There's a lot of sugar in that. Not much to this. A sugary, spicy. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you mean. Is that a mango habanero? I like to put this on biscuits. Oh, it's honey. honey. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That can make a good cocktail right there. <clears throat> it's like a tepid tea. It's like it's like a it's like a sweet tea, but it's just the sweet part. Well, Link, uh, one of the <laughs> things that I'm learning right now, uh, as we're seeing, you know, we have a command center here with all kinds of information that we're constantly <laughs> processing, like uh, like pilots, pretty much. Uh, you would not believe Roger the number, Dodger the number of things that we are processing, including an image of ourselves. But it is not necessarily. Um, Uncommon for a celebrity, which right. you which might, I am, you might classify yourself as, uh, to get a dog uh, tattooed on them. I see that. So maybe, hey, maybe there's a group. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. there's a support, Demi Lovato, a support group of people who've made the same decision. Right on the back of her neck, it looks like. You got uh, Ariana Grande on her hand. Ariana Grande got a lot of hand tattoos. Good gosh, that's Tabasco. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's not good. Howard Stern has the name of his dog, Bianca. Yeah. Oh, but Joe Jonas got. Oh, he has a he has like a, a, a was it is that a husky? It's a husky esque dog, miniature I think. Alaskan Klee Klee Kai. Mm, it's on his chest. It has two different colored eyes, and he he accommodated that in his tattoo. Mm -hmm. He also looks like he did some of his own artwork next to the tattoo. <laughs> and what about, what did Chris Evans get? Dave Bautista, Chris Evans has the dog's name underneath his... On uh, his chest, on his, uh, under, under his nip. Under his, under his nipple. I, that dog, that's a, that's a nice dog. That's a nice dog. Miley's got, a, Miley's got her lassie dog on her rib cage. You know what we're doing? I'm definitely getting. I'm definitely getting Jasper. Uh, I think. We're I, so, I think I got well, to. yeah, you got to do what Dave I'm, Batista I'm, did and do like every every animal you ever owned. I just get. <coughs> While you're coughing, I'll do a little uh, promo oh, here. And then we have a night. We're celebrating four years of Mythical Society. Can you believe it? Four yes. Years. Uh, yes, it launched way back in 2019 and was celebrating all month. So during the entire month of February, any purchase of a 30 degree annual plan will receive their choice of one of the past 2022 quarterly items while supplies last. So if you wanted that record, that if you wanted that, that comic book, out, uh, if you wanted that U2's collectible, you get a chance at those that, things. Third degree annual, right? Is it is that what we said? It's just annual, or do we say yeah, 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 annual? So a third degree annual plan. So mythicalsociety.com for details. Look at that! It looks like it's dog turds or meatballs floating in a daggum. It's just dog turds or meatballs. Let's taste it to find out. It can only be one of those. Oh, that's just Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> it's jerk sauce. That's scary. It's jerk sauce? The, so the only mm -hmm. thing that, th this right here is a fun thing to do. I recommend doing that, you know, maybe maybe when the poolside time rolls around, you know? I kind of feel like jerk sauce Ugh. is a cool thing to call somebody you're mad at, but not, like kind of in a Ugh. playful way. You know what I mean? Like you get mad at somebody, so just cut it out, jerk sauce. Let's end this more, jerk sauce.
That's too mean though, it's gotta be a little playful. We're celebrating the Mythical Society anniversary all month long. Grab a collectible from last year. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.